There's a nice effect on the tears. Oh. That is pretty good. Look at that. That's not bad. What is a token? Oh, it has an effect when in inventory. Dude, that's like an extra inventory slot. Whoa, never seen that before. You don't even need to equip it. How cool, man. Jeez. Wow. Let's do it. Hmm. Be careful, you're covered in blood. That one won't rise from the dead. Okay. You didn't finish him off. Rude. Uh, let's do crush. Come on. Come on. Oh. Hmm. Can wait. Can we stack deceivers? Can we can we get two cards randomly drawn at zero cost per turn? It's insane. It's like two free actions per turn. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. Hey. Look at that. We're going bleeding. Interesting. Return a random burnt card to the deck every second turn. Wow, that's actually pretty damn decent. Okay. Cool, man. This is this is kind of a fun... Uh, we've never done a bleeding thing before. This is cool. Ghoul had probably starved as the cultists don't bury their dead. I decided to switch to fresh food. It decided to switch to fresh food. Oh my. <clears throat> uh, Hiora. I just want to say that you were really good and entertaining host on a talk with pirate software. Oh, thank you. I always thought that programmers are not really happy people. Ha ha ha. Oh, dude. Pro pro the, the programmers are creators. They create things. They're artists in a lot of ways. They... they just like artists, you can have happy artists and sad artists, but there are so many devs that just absolutely bleed passion for what they do. And and it's and it's and it's awesome. <laughs> Pirate is one of those people, no question. And uh, it's been awesome seeing him get wildly more popular lately. Um, because I feel like there's lots and lots and lots of awesome coders out there like him that are not really just like you said, you don't know they're out there. So it's 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 awesome. It's, it's been so great, like, seeing that become popular. Like, I love it. I love it. So thank you. I appreciate the commentary, or the comment there, and, uh, yeah. Super cool, man. Uh, I probably should have played Battle Lust early. I like that. That's That effect we're seeing now is from the armor set, I think. It's pulling in health. Kill the ghoul without taking any damage to health. Achievement unlocked. Cool. Mm, I like my spear. We're not going to use that. Nah, keep the crystal. Uh, oh, we definitely want both deceivers at one. one yes. Okay. Hey, Malbrachia, dude. Thanks for the 60 months of great games, community, and here's to another 60. Cheers. Thank you, Malbrachia. Very much appreciate your 60 months, dude. Hell yeah. Is that Ko's portrait in the top left? Yes! Sort of. It's not really synced up right now for some reason, but it's there! <laughs> I don't know why. 
That's weird. It 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 synced up. It is. Are we doing a different character or something? I don't even know anymore. But it's supposed to be up there. Uh, Barry says it's fixed for the battle scene. Oh. Hey, Barry. Barry, you want remember the stuff we did for Fallout like eight years ago? Can you do it? <laughs> you know, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Can we bring it back? Oh man, oh man. Barry, Barry's response was, "Get out." That, that was his response to what I just said. <laughs> Get out. Which is the best answer because that means he's probably looking into it. And then he just said, "I will look into it." Okay, there we go. Okay. What am I asking him for? So a long time ago, when we first did our Fallout 4 run, we made, we, Barry made some custom software. And what it did was it would detect certain colored pixels in the overlay or, or what's on the screen. And whenever I would switch, but whenever I would get into power armor, then the whole interface would change. Barry's software would pick up on it and our overlay would change as well. So basically, like, in Fallout 4, when you're on foot, you have, like, the green overlay. And we and we made a themed overlay in green, the same green. But then whenever I got into power armor, the entire overlay would turn orange, move around. And it was all based on, like, basically OCR-style stuff on the overlay. So what we're going to do now is see if we can do that with the, the combat thing at the top. Let's... Oh, I can't tease him! That makes me so sad. Hmm. Ah! He's far from being if we tease him, then he'll follow us and become a character that, like, will help us. So we can't tease him on this character. I think we can only do that on Bjorn. Oh, no. When receiving damage, steals strength. Don't do that. No. Don't do that. Bro, you just stole four strength? Four? Wait, am I buffing my own strength? And then when he steals it, he's just taking my buffed strength like a jerk? Is that, is that what's going on right now? Oh my God. You've acquired a taste for buffs. Phantasmal. Okay, so train. That's a no-brainer with our scaling. Got a tentacle. Who is this guy? Cultists guard their secrets fervidly, and I saw and I knew too much. It was plain from the outset that they would not let me out of the swamps. The oldest keeper of the Mike cult blocked my way, planning to silence me forever. Have we ever fought this guy, chat? Ah! By the way, Co, can you help me understand how can I have such good energy into doing stuff as you do as a host? You were so passionate about everything. I can see that by the body language, and now you seem like everything you do, every expression and movement looks super honest. How do you do that? Um, the way that I do that is by learning over my life that I do not react. I don't, I don't fake it well. And I've, I have spent the last 10 years building my life to where, and, and my stream to where I'm only doing things that I'm passionate about because I realize that that puts on the best show for you guys. That and a lot of drugs. <clears throat> Okay, let's get going. So what's this guy gonna do? At the end of the turn, takes damage for each abscess in hand. Okay, that's disgusting. He's got barricade, which sucks. I would have liked to get the sea route early, but okay. No, but I mean, the, the short answer is, is like these, these days I'm, I'm in, a, in the incredibly fortunate position to where I'm able to do what I love every day. I've got a beautiful family. I've, I, you know, it's, it's a lot of work 
and and I don't really have any downtime, and I'm always moving forward. But on on that note, it is a very fun ride. <laughs> so that's 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 kind of how it is. Is uh, a fundamental realization that the best my job will will be the best if I am only doing things that I really feel good about. And that's one of the reasons, like I like for the last couple weeks, numbers haven't been great on the channel. But everything I'm doing, I absolutely love doing. I'm loving Terraria. I'm loving Knock on the Coffin Lid. I'm loving Seven Days to Die. I'm putting on the best show doing these, even though there isn't the most people watching. And that's okay. Because, you know, I've been doing this long enough to where it's like I can do this and realize that, you know, we'll have more big games and stuff down the road. It's whatever. And I don't, you know, and, and that's all, that all factors in. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to be happy all the time, if you want to be passionate all the time, spend the time to ask yourself, what can I do to facilitate things in my life to make it so I'm more frequently doing the things that I am passionate about? Build your life slowly and over time to where it brings you the most joy after understanding to yourself what brings you joy. And I'll tell you this right now, most of you out there don't know what brings you joy. You're going through life and you're reacting to things that happen to you. And some things you like and you react positively and that's great. You know things you like, but you probably don't know what brings you joy. You don't know what would be done in 20 years from now. And between now and then, the thousands of hours of work you could put into it. So in 20 years, you would be so thrilled with what you would have built 20 years later. You don't know what that thing is, but it exists and you could find it. So for me, that was streaming. And I tried a lot of other things before I was streaming. A lot of other things that failed. I, I did things that, that didn't work out. I wanted to do it, but I didn't work out. It didn't work out. And you keep doing that until you find something you're passionate about that works. And it's not gonna work for all people, let's be real. I mean, when I was looking for my thing, I was in a, a IT job that frankly I hated. My wife was working a job she hated, but I kept looking and we kept failing and we kept trying. So it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you want that in your life, then do everything you can to get there. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying you'll be able to work to a perfect life. I'm just saying you do what you can control because most of our life is outside of our control. So it's identifying what you can control and then controlling those things is in many ways a secret to happiness. So yeah. Pizer Dumpling says you didn't keep working out. Yeah. And I need to get back into that. I need to get back into that. The whole, the whole, uh, honestly, in some ways, I'm still recovering from Letho, to put it bluntly, in some ways. Years later, loss is a bitch. Um, and, I'm, and I'm still dealing with my new reality in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, yeah, and you know, that's, that's something that I realize will come with time. And, um, and that's just kind of how it goes, you know? Mm -hmm. Keep moving forward, right? You keep moving forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I got kids and everything too, so that's, you know, that's a whole, whole different thing. Okay, I need to. F I love talking to you guys about this stuff, but I need to focus on this before this kills me. <laughs> so I realize that if I keep talking, I'm gonna just do dumb things. I'm gonna die for a dumb reason. So I'm gonna focus up on this fight for a minute, and uh, and then we can talk more about that stuff later. <laughs> okay. So. Let's see. I'm a little confused by this fear of the abscess thing because I'm not sure if that's for me or for him. Um, I think I'm, I, I, he doesn't have a hand, so I'm assuming it means us, but we also don't really have any abscesses, but he, and he doesn't seem to be growing them. He also has barricade, is gaining armor, and is going to rebirth as well. So there's all sorts of not fun things going on here. Let's start seeing if we can work through his armor. But man, I also got a guard again. 40 damage? 40. I have no guards. Okay. I'm pretty good about that. Um... Nice exposing on him for later. All right, we're about to take a big hit. Mm. 
Pop these. Infection is not an abscess. No? Okay, no, it's not. Good. Nice big hit there. He survived that. I will say it's great that we're healing with our attacks. That That is awesome. That's one of the reasons I think we might be okay. Polyworld says, I'm sorry to hear that Ko is very sad. Oh, I mean, it's it's life, man. It's life. It's all good. It's all good. Booker's being adorable over there. Uh, let's just go right in with this. Actually, let's lose the 2 HP. That's a, a lot of nice extra damage there. What difficulty are we on? We are on basic difficulty. Yep. Basic challenge difficulty. I don't even think challenge has a difficulty. Oh, we got some ads. Um, we're gonna do a viplosion. Oh no. Oh no, hold on. PC gamer about Wukong, a stuttery frame rate and the occasional crash ended a few early battles prematurely for me. Wukong is yet another game plagued by the curse of graphics shaders tanking performance so badly that instead of swapping your skill points, you're swapping video settings to find a combination that'll get you through the next section, and no amount of raw GPU grunt can power through it. Damn it! That's like the one thing that could sink Wukong. That's the one thing that could have screwed up Wukong, is having horrible technical performance. Are there other, are there other, I, I know that we just came out with reviews like 30 minutes ago. Are there other reviews that are saying the same things? Damn it. That, oh, that is so frustrating to hear, dude. That is so frustrating to hear. I know, Marvix, 100%. Devs, it is time to stop chasing graphics and focus on performance. I, I don't know the exact percentage, but I am absolutely positive that there is a gigantic portion of gamers that would say performance over graphics. Like, like, end of story. I, Me personally, I would never, ever prefer to play a game that runs poorly and looks better than a game that runs better and looks worse. Ever. So it's like, there has to be a, a, a huge amount of us that feel this way. There has to be. So it's like, yeah, Harb ID says performance doesn't sell. Neither does what you just read. I mean, entire projects have been sunk because their performance sucks. So, I mean, yeah, performance may not... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disagree with you. Performance absolutely sells. I think performance apps. I think a game that looks pretty and performs well, I think people will buy that, especially if they know it'll run on their mid to low end computer. I would, I would say that that, like running projects running very well and looking good and and reviews coming out saying that, I think is a huge, huge selling point. Yep. So, and I think when they suck, it's a huge problem. Now, interestingly enough, uh, uh, Aegis of Orion, the guy that posted that thing about the frame rate sucking, IGN still gave it an 8 out of 10. So, damn. After hearing that and then still getting it an 8 out of 10, I wonder how good it is. Hmm. Surya says you can't see performance in a in a trailer. Here's the thing. People are assuming that, that people are assuming that that the only selling is going on before the reviews come out. But I mean, arguably when the reviews come out and everyone says the performance sucks, like you could argue that is that is the opposite of selling the game, right? But if reviews come out and everyone's like, oh, the performance is great and it runs well and that's awesome, that game will sell more copies. So it, again, I would disagree with performance not selling. Like I think that that's, a, especially these days, if anything else, I think people are somewhat hypersensitive to it, don't you think? Um, I don't know. He must have put his sweatshirt on and taken it off like a hundred times by now. Dude, my, the temperature in this office is 0.5 degrees off on every direction and it's driving me crazy. Okay. Anyway. You'll have to tough it out. Yeah. <laughs> GameSpot said it ran perfectly on PC. Then. What? <laughs> Hold on a second. What? Um, that's weird. 
Different machines are having different problems. Oh, so it's not like a general performance issue. It's like a targeted performance issue. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Do I, are my... What are my basic attacks on this? Are they lunges? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. They are. I don't know if I want to do... I haven't been, I haven't been upgrading any of them, so... This could, this could be... We're not really having any survivability issues. Let's get let's get overdrive. Let's get overdrive. That could work really well for a late game. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, we're empty. Get overdrive down. Nah, actually. Let's get you up. Five bleeding to everyone, including you. Here's here's what's funny. So you see this, right? Mm -mm. And it says, here you go. at the start of the turn, reduce the cost of all cards by one. When playing a talent, inflict five bleeding on everyone, right? But then you go down here. At the end of the turn, deal one damage for each bleeding on the character and remove all bleeding. So that'll be just fine if we bleed ourselves. Yes, just fine. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have two that we need to do. We'll do this one first. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. With good feeding, demons never. Man, we gotta burn some rolling. cards. Okay. Ow. A bloodbath. These guys hit really hard. <laughs> Dang. Hydration is required. Better than water. There we go. Taking a lot of big old hitties from these guys, chat. Oh my god, dude. Now that's string. Um. <gasps> Which one of these jokers is stealing all my strength? Are any of them? Oh, maybe <laughs> One won't rise from the dead. Hmm. The set bonus also counters the bleed from enemies. So <laughs> nice. All of my stats are being like super green. My armor just. Yeah. Mm, not good. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> I'm sorry. See ya. He lost too much blood. Great. And we got all the kills back since we did the attacks at the end. Uh okay. More mighty blow, we'll take it. 
Yes. Yeah, I like that much better. Great. Awesome. Have I had the opportunity to play a full curse build yet? I think we we got a pretty high curse build once on, um, I want to say a Bjorn run that was really cool. Yeah. Uh-oh, one sec. <clears throat> Kotha wants human pyrocosmetics are out. Ah! The flaming bike. The bad news is that it's cosmetic loot boxes with a 0.4% chance for the pyro ones with a pity system after 30, then resets for the next item. So it's like 200 euros to have all the items. It's cosmetics only, but I still hate loot boxes. That is a lot of money. Wow. And that bike thing, the bike thing looks great. I know exactly what you're talking about with it. That's rough, dude. That's rough. Rossi 5 says you can't get duplicates from the loot boxes, though. Eh, that's good. That is good. Hmm. I want to save that. I don't want to burn that yet. We need more strength for that. God, this guy hurts. I feel like I need to up my guards or something. Hmm. Troll blood? Is that a new card? Did they add that to the troll breastplate? They may have. Oh, don't you summon a friend, though. Don't you do that. Don't you be that guy. Oh, he's, he's not a, uh, uh oh, you didn't fight there. He's, he's not a coward. So that means that we're going to have to just fight him too, which kind of stinks. Uh, Asgrath. 95 months sub, hi kind sir co 95 mm -hmm. months. And you're still going strong as ever. Good show, so good show. I appreciate it, Asgrath. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for your, uh, man, 95 months, dude. Un yeah, just incredible. incredible. Thank you, bud. At Co Carnage, Unreal 5 is renowned for its <laughs> shader stutters, though, and they usually go away once you restart the game often enough. <laughs> the Wukong benchmark tool stuttered four times on the first benchmark run I did as well, restarted the tool again and rerun, and there was only one stutter left. Oh, wait, we can just download that and run it, can't we? I just realized I, I haven't done that. I mean, we, we should try that and see how it works. What's, how do you do that? Not going to do it right now, but here we go. Cool. We'll go ahead and download it and I'll try it sometime and see how it is. I forgot that that was out there, that, that which would me even stranger with the fact that um, people were having such issues. Oh. Upon dealing damage, gain one armor and one exposed. While the hero is exposed, gain 20 strength and draw two extra with a five bonus. That's insane. That is insane. Yeah, I do really want to uh, do like a full demon build one day. It's so cool. Um... Yeah, let's let's upgrade an effective guard. <clears throat> cool. Okay, let's keep moving. Reduce your HP to one and upgrade all cards. You want to risk it? I mean, we could risk it. I probably shouldn't. No, we just need to win this. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, let's do this for him. Let's for him. That's too risky. That's too risky. If, if we were doing a normal run, maybe, but this is a challenge run. The entire goal is to win this run. A creepy so. inquiry generated oh, wait. by someone's misfortune. Inglorious death. Hey. Boom. 
Right, we need to burn a card and he will disappear. Or a couple cards, actually. He doesn't taunt, does he? Oh, he does. I'm not going to play that yet. Won't your armor rust from the blood? Okay. Skadoosh. Love to see it, chat. You love to see it. That one. Hmm. No. Let's take that to sell. Are we even going to see a store before we're done? I'm not sure. Now here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting. We have a card now that clears statuses from the deck. So if we did take damage and get a slowdown, we could play that card and remove the slowdown. And we don't have any set bonus with this. The only thing this thing is doing is giving us a slight heal. Which I mean is important, and arguably that is one of our main heals. I think for survivability, we got to stick with the crystal, don't we? And I guess that gives us all these buffs too. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep the crystal. We'll keep the crystal. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we very well could get overwhelmed. We don't have enough block to make it so we don't get hit every turn. And if those slowdown cards like add up, it could be real bad. It could be real bad. We're not going to do that. <laughs> 